Okay. Welcome back to RimWorld. The Mad Scientist playthrough. As you can see based on this uh, image right here, it's time for an update. Uh, yeah, gosh. I mean, uh, Victor's still alive, of course. His wife's still alive. Their child is still alive, Azura. And uh, we lost Sandulesk uh, very recently. Shit just has kind of hit the fan. Um, we have Jarvis, who is a tier one android that I made to replace, gosh, I think his name was Irwin. Actually, I don't even know if I made Jarvis. I think I bought Jarvis as a slave for like 300 bucks. And I bought him specifically for a reason we'll get to, but mostly, um, he has a construction of 17, which seems absurdly high for a tier one android. So that's nice. And then we have Sean. Sean is a tier 4 android, uh, which is always good, very fast. But you may notice, Sean is also the child of Victor and Pino. Now, normally, normally I would say, well, that's just some sort of odd bug with the childhood thing, with the baby thing, and the Android mod, and blah, 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 so on and so forth. Like, that shouldn't really happen. That's uh, an oversight. But this is the Mad Scientist playthrough, and I'm not putting it above Victor to, like, artificially inseminate his wife with some sort of android baby. I think that's fairly reasonable for Victor. Interestingly, <laughs> Sean fucking loves his father, best friend, supreme god, just huge fan of his dad. Hates his mother. And that's because she sort of had a mental break. And uh, insulted him ten times, and they got into a fight, and blah, blah, blah. So they hate each other right now. <sighs> Loves his dad, though, and really likes his sister, even though, you know, she is but a human. They talked about immortality through Skymine and Skycloud cores, so, you know, they, they can chat about that. Azura is now 12 years old, so she's very close to uh, teenagerdom. And she'll, you know, be close to just a normal member of the society. She pretty much is now, but not quite. Not quite. She's still, you know, affected by the childhood stats. But she can do pretty much anything. Um, Let's see. I built a second nuclear reactor. Here's the big problem with nuclear reactors. You cannot rely on them entirely. Unless you get some sort of other mods... Uh, that make it so that they can be... You can make some sort of protection from solar flares. Um, but since I don't have any sort of mods that protect you from solar flares, nuclear reactors have this um, sort of interesting dynamic when it comes to that, where they will shut down, of course, uh, during... A solar flare. Now, you can have it not do that. You can have it so that you doesn't automatically shut down, doesn't auto-scram uh, during solar flares, and it will stay on. The problem with that is that your cooling is going to shut down. Because, you know, all your electricity shuts down during a solar flare. Like, that's not negotiable. Um... The reactor itself does not generate electricity. The Thor turbine generates the electricity. The reactors generate heat. And they generate, you know, steam, which powers the turbine. 
So you can have your reactor running during a solar flare if you want, but since your cooling's not going to be online, they're going to start overheating. And uh, an overheating reactor is eventually very problematic. Now, there must be a reason why they, they allow this option. of not scramming during a solar flare. There must be a reason for that. But I'm scared to try it out. So we're, anyways, uh, as it is, you scram during a solar flare, the reactor shut down. The problem comes when the solar flare is over and you need to power them back up because you basically need a certain amount of power in the system to turn it back on. Meaning that you can't rely entirely on nuclear reactors because then you, you'll never be able to turn them on. Um, and so that's why we have like a solar generator and a, a couple geothermal generators. And even then, I still have to go around and shut like everything off. I have to flick the power for everything else just so we have enough power in the tubes to turn on the reactors again. So that's kind of annoying. Um, there may be ways to solve that or something like that. I don't know, but... Uh, or you maybe try just not scramming during solar flares. I don't know. Uh, but that doesn't solve... Having two of them does not solve that. What having two of them solves is that you can shut one down in order to put more rods in or swap out rods or something like that without doing that whole solar flare procedure where you shut everything down. Because um, one of them can still generate enough power. So right now, uh, the turbine is generating 20,000 watts. We have 12,000 excess just sitting around. So that's all very good. Um, then you'll notice we have the SACS, the PPC, and we have the TACS. All these very cool acronyms. So the PPC is essentially just a giant battery. That's it. That's it. It's just a giant battery. It's 6,000 watts. Uh, 6,000 watt days or whatever that stands for giant battery 6,000 watts is massive your average battery is like 600 I think so this is like six this is like 10 batteries in one what that really means though is that if there's ever a discharge in your system it's going to blow big because you have a lot of batteries so I researched fuses so we've got a whole bunch of fuses. Each one of these mitigates up to 1,800 WD. Uh, so we need four of them, assuming that all works. Uh, then you have the SACS. This is essentially a controlling system for all of your um, nuclear-related weaponry, as in, like, the actual systems, of which we'll talk about. Um, so you can just man that to actually control the different weapon systems. Then you have the tax. This is the one I understand the least. Target acquisition communication system uses a combination of technologies to track land and air based targets and communicate with the weapon system. So I this doesn't do anything on its own. All it does is track like incoming artillery and mortars and missiles and things like that. And you still need some sort of other weapon system in order to like shoot them down before they hit you, which is cool, but all it is right now is basically this cool spinny thing. <laughs> Uh, so that brings us to the actual weapon systems, of which I have researched a couple. First of all, we have the ADS, the Active Denial System. This basically, it doesn't do any damage, but it heats the targeted human subject's skin and causes them to flee. So this just causes enemies to flee, but it has to be manned. So, this is not an automated thing. However, for the purposes of my religion that scorns autonomous weapons, having one of these in the colony gives everyone a negative five. Even though it is not an autonomous weapon, it will not fire on its own. So, that's kind of bullshit. I don't care for it, and it's pretty lame. Um... To the point of, I might modify my religion just to remove this for reasons we'll get to. Uh, 
Uh, the whole point was mad science, right? I like rim atomics plus genetics. Uh, and a big part of rim atomics, as it turns out, are these automated systems, uh, such as the Tesla coil. Now, this thing actually is automated. Uh, this will fire automatically without anything. It's just a big turret that fires out fucking lightning, and it's awesome. But having it there is negative five to everybody in the religion, and people in the religion will not even construct it, which is why I got Jarvis... Because he's a tier one, he's not part of the religion, so he'll actually build these things. Um, but yeah, I want to use these cool turrets because they're pretty sweet. And if we look at the other things we can get, we can get the high energy laser. So this destroys enemy airborne projectiles. This works with the uh, the tax system. Uh, we've got the Punisher, 25 round magazine fed railgun platform. Uses large electromagnetic pulses to launch Sabot projectiles to extreme velocities and ranges. Sabot? Something like that. Uh, requires line of sight. Fire mission does not require line of sight. Manned sacks required for manual targeting. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, it's a fucking rail gun. I want it. The obelisk directed energy weapon uses a focused solid state laser to vaporize targets. 100% accurate with long range and devastating power. Automatic targeting and firing. The Marauder multi-barrel coaxial plasma railgun platform. Large electromagnetic pulses fire a burst of accelerated plasma toroids to extreme velocities causing explosive radiation emitting impacts. I want all this fucking shit. Um, and then we have the Liberator, which is your nuclear missiles. So we also want to get in on that. But that, I don't think, is going to be a, that's not an automated weapon or anything. It might be, but I don't know. Uh, and then you've got all these things, which are just various, like, buffs that you can put in for different uh, weapon systems to reduce, like, their cooldown, increase weapon firing speed and energy costs and things like that. Um... Oh, we also have energy shields. Create plasma fields, which can intercept physical or energy-based projectile weapons. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, there's just a shit ton here. It's a really extensive mod. Then we have genetics. I have it all set up here. We are ready to begin uh, making some creatures. I have not actually made one yet, so I have not gone that far. But... Here we have the Genomorpher. This is the principal machine. So this takes... Um, this takes two different genomes, the dominant one and the secondary one. You get the genome frame in there, which affects the quality level of the ultimate, you know, resulting animal. And then you can put in a booster as well, which can affect in different properties. Um, so you start with... Like the tissue grinder. This is specifically to make geno frames. The geno frame just determines, like I said, the quality. So it can range from awful all the way up to legendary. All, all you have to do for this is just throw in corpses. And it does not matter what kind any corpse will do. Human, insect, animal, whatever. Um, so one corpse equals one awful geno frame. Then you take two awful genoframes to get a poor one, two, nor two poor to get a normal, two normal to get a good, so on and so forth. Um, so the resulting thing, if you want a legendary genoframe, it's 64 corpses. Uh, which is a lot, but again, it can come from anywhere. It does not, there's not a specific type of genoframe as far as like what created it. So all genoframes are equal aside from their quality. Then you have the extractor table. This is where it does matter uh, what type of creature you're throwing in here. You've got bears, birds, boom animals, muffalos, dogs, rodents, rabbits, cats, humans. Um, so you just chuck those corpses in here. Same thing. And you get, um, you get genomes out of it. So like here I have a couple horse genomes. These have to be refrigerated or frozen. 
So I've got a deep refrigerator in here, which is holding a, a fair amount of genomes. A couple booms, a dog, a couple horses, 15 humans, because those are abundant. A couple insectoid and um, rodent leopard. Um, so all the ones you can make here at the extractor table are what they have as tier one. Which are basically the common types of animals and humans. If you want tier two, which is insectoid and horse. Um, insectoid, horse, and one other thing I don't remember. Uh, that you have to go here, the tinkering table, to make genome excavators. Um, so the regular genome excavators, 40 steel, one component. These are one-time use. Then you have the alpha ones and the mega fauna for the creatures added by those two mods. Alpha animals and mega fauna. Um, so I've got five of the regular ones just sitting around. These are one-time use. You just go to an animal that you either have tamed or has been killed. And you just shove the excavator in there and take out the genome. Um... It doesn't kill the tamed animal, I don't think. I mean, I don't have any. Uh, but it definitely does not remove the corpse of the dead animal. So there's that. Um, and then there's tier 3, which is essentially like thrombos and stuff. The colossal animals. That you have to get a specific excavator machine out of one of these desolate lab quests that pop up. But we're not getting into that yet. Um, so yeah, all you really need then, you just need a bunch of corpses, essentially. Human, animal, whatever, just a whole slew of corpses. And you mix it all uh, together. And now we can finally go ahead and make a growth cell. I don't know. I mean, we could just randomize something. There you go. So this is our randomized thing. This is going to be an 80% chance of getting a boom wolf. Because we're combining boom and canine. 10% chance of getting a wolfalope. And 10% chance of getting an aberrant flesh beast. Uh, if for a failed outcome. So the boom wolf. Very intelligent, fast, dangerous. They make for an interesting combat animal. One of the few canine type hybrids that work better solo than as a pack. Okay, that seems good for a start. Uh, for our genoframe, then, determining the quality of the resulting animal, which affects all sorts of different things. Um, we just have normal, because i got a bunch of those. And then you can put in a booster. Tempo booster just cuts the time in half for the process. Three days to one and a half days. Seems fine to me, I guess. Um, I think this is all pretty interesting. Now, if we get the Aberrant Flesh Beast, it's just going to immediately... Um, start dying and just bleed to death. Uh, it won't actually attack us. You got to get into the higher level stuff to actually spawn something that goes on a rampage. Okay. Now, I don't know if I don't know if Victor has to like attend to that and put. I uh, yeah, he has to put all the ingredients in. Okay, so that's going. Um, aside from that... Oh, I finally just built the War Casket Foundry. And I think we're going to toss Jarvis in there, because Jarvis is a Tier 1 android, despite the construction thing. Um, he's now gotten his right heat sink destroyed, his left foot shattered. He's really not in good condition whatsoever. I think we're going to entomb him in the War Casket. Just for shits and giggles, really. Okay, here's our war casket options. Uh, armor frame, no options. We just have war casket because we don't have any other options. So this is the base stuff. Can determine colors. Black, of course. Uh, three component, 160 steel, 20 uranium. That's probably not... It's not too much. It's going to strip him naked, and he's going to be entombed in this... Uh, entombed in this armor. 
I think we need Pino to do this, though. Yeah. Fortunately, I have some uranium sitting around. Uh, we actually have, like, no steel on hand. It's... There's just been a lot of problems. And we also have this problem. So, yeah. We're working on that. Get in there, man. Hey! Get in there. I'm gonna do this again. There he is. Fucking war casket. Hell yeah, baby. No amount of pain will have an effect on them. They can never go into a pain shock or drop unconscious due to pain. Because of how bulky the armor is and how much energy it takes to use it, he's not capable of doing any work. Yeah. So now we need to get him a special like war casket gun. Uh, which I may not have researched. Look at War Casket. Yeah, I don't know where the War Casket weaponry. There you go. Uh, we did finally get Victor an arm. He's got a prosthetic arm, which is 50% uh, efficiency, but in total that brings him up to 75 manipulation, which is better than 50. Um, we also have a cleaner bot and a hauler bot. And there's a lot of cleaning and hauling to do. stuff uh we're really like not built for combat here sad to say uh for one this kill box is far too close so the things just flood in and it doesn't work um but with a war casket with some nice animals on hand could work Whenever he shreds a human here, <laughs> it strips him. So we just have a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. You want a steampunk statue? Hmm. That's probably arrangeable. I don't know if anyone has art skill. Of course, Sean does. He's got skill with everything. Yeah, it's a, it's a mess. Yeah, so let's go ahead and remove that part of the ID legend. Uh, edit mode. Um, just remove any reference to that. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, I'm fine with, like, you know, doing that at some point, challenging myself, or, you know, whatever. That the whole that is a challenge thing. But for this, we really want to just see what Rima Thomas can do, and there's no point in giving myself a mood debuff. Yeah, this is... This is getting out of control here. Oh, he's building the... Tesla coil. Not entirely cheap. 175 steel, three components. Um, until we get our big drills going on, steel is in a little bit of a shortage. 
at least Jarvis will still haul. That's pretty good. Um, I feel like Sandulesk probably got shredded <laughs> and turned into a genome. That would be my guess or something, a geno frame. So I think we might have to just have an empty funeral. Food binge. So I didn't show you last time the sunflower growth rate thanks to the equatorial region and stuff 434% growth rate it's pretty good it's pretty good alright let's uh... oh fuck yeah Sean's our moral guide because he's got good social skill What a fucking mess. Oh yeah, so uh, part of the weapon thing is you have to do weapon tests. So you have to fire it on things to gather weapon data. So... Um... Let's have Azura, 12 years old, man the uh, the sax console and fire Tesla cannon at this, di <laughs> this dying <laughs> enemy. No, won't fire at somebody on the ground. That's unfortunate. I mean, he's definitely not getting up. Hmm. Yeah, then there isn't much I can do. I could maybe fire at this duck. Some ducks self... Or some ducks came onto the map and they, like, joined the colony. And I've never built a pen, but they just sit around everywhere and breed... So now we've got ducks everywhere. Which is like, okay, I mean, you can take them and turn them into geno frames. So every corpse kind of helps. Range on the Tesla coil, pretty short. Pretty short. That's the downside. Wait till we get into the rail guns. Damn it, ducks, come over here. I need to Tesla coil you. Or if this, like, wild woman comes over. Be sweet. Alright, alright. Go do something else. Oh, a hailstorm. Perfect. So, Victor just, yeah. He basically is just non-stop making Geno frames out of these human corpses that assault us. Got too much shit. Got too much shit, man. I think this pry needs to be bumped up. 75. Oh. Also needs to be important. Ah, uh, but it does also need to be fucking things that are... Smeltable. Or actually, it's not even smelting, is it? It's burning. Uh, so nothing that's not burnable. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. The hauling bot, no. Oh, God. Victor, man the console. No, they're gonna shred it. Fuck you! <laughs> well, we got one hit in. Shit. Problem is, like, we're just not combatants. Gonna have to reload this shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, we have, like, <laughs> two guys that fire weapons now. And you see how quickly they just rush through the kill box. Like, it's without turrets. And I'm fine, like, not building normal turrets. I think that's okay. But getting all the, the cool special turrets online, that takes a while. I mean, if I had, like, eight Tesla turrets in, like, a semicircle around the entrance or, you know, around the kill box. That would deal with some problems. Pretty slow. Possibly glitched. All right, well, uh, if I have to reload, I guess. Okay, I'll pause. Well, that took a while. I don't remember what we were doing. Um, right, concerning ourselves with defense, defenses. Um... Why don't you just bring this shit in? See? That wasn't that hard. Now we're starting on our boom wolf. Take a day and a half. Uh, so yeah. F f say we wanted a bunch more of these Tesla coils. <sighs> Actually, I should probably bring it in here. Oh, I can't move it because we're still testing it. Um, so 150 steel, 175 steel, three components. Components are just steel that hasn't been formed yet. So that's not that big of a deal. I have 27. So yeah, three ain't no big thing. Got a uh, 768 steel here. But yeah, they won't let me build a second one. Until I finish testing this. So, uh, yeah. I need either some animals to wander over towards the Tesla coil. 
or we like summon a raid or I fire it like Jarvis which is kind of viable <laughs> um yeah, I mean, the war cast is not even, like, that insane. It's pretty good. 45 blunt, 18 sharp. That's pretty good. Oh, she's still operating the turret there. Hold on. All right, let's fire a Jarvis. See how much it hurts him. Okay, I mean, that's not nothing. Okay, we're actually killing him. That's probably not good. Uh... He's, he's losing coolant. And I still don't have... Well, he's not a... I actually, I don't know if it's a... No, it's not medical, it's crafting. So Pino should be able to tend to him. Yeah, but yes, yeah, eventually somebody like the this is going to piss off the bugs and then they flood in. This is always how it goes, and always how it has gone, and always how it will go. Um, I still didn't finish testing. Okay, fortunately they passed by during sleepy time. Man in black. Uh, yeah, we need to get Hadriana to wander over here. Then we can melt her. Uh, over here I started just doing some strip mining. Um, you know, it lets you find the steel deposits. And, you know, it lets you mine a bunch with ensuring that no tunnels collapse or anything, so... It's, uh, it's an alright thing for, like, these massive mountainous regions. And then my hauler bot is just gonna sit here and haul all that shit. <laughs> Jarvis, you almost up for... <laughs> Another blast from the Tesla coil. I mean, it's pretty painful. Like, it cuts right through. I've got, you know, no info on, like, penetration numbers or anything, but... Yeah, it hurt Jarvis pretty good. Imagine if he got blasted with, like, five of them all at once. That's dead. That's fucking dead. Come on, duck. Wander over here. I could just shoot, like, the hauler bot and just rebuild it. It's not really that big of a deal. Sacks. Got him. That do it. I did it. All right. Good. 
so now we can uh, start working on more Tesla coils. Uh, my phone's ringing. Plenty of interruptions for this this video. Okay. Elderly tech support's always fun. All right. Uh, so we are making more Tesla coils. I mean, really, uh, as long as we have a general firing line here. And we do something like that. That's all symmetrical. I like that. Um, this is not symmetrical, and I don't like it. I don't know. Four is maybe okay for now. I don't know how many more I could make anyway. Well, probably. Yeah. Probably a decent number. Um, so that's fine. But then I think we probably want to start working on the next step. <sighs> yeah, not the Liberator. We don't want to go that far. Probably... Maybe the obelisk? That's 10,000 silver just to start researching, though. Maybe the Punisher, then. It says, if a car is on a site, fire mission does not require a line of sight. I don't know what all that means, but it seems cool. I don't think I can even afford this. To be honest. No. 6,000 silver is a hefty amount when I have 1700 Making money is tricky. Making money is tricky. Okay, so in lieu of that... I could just research mortars. But, yeah, I don't know. I think getting just sort of... Some badass war casket shit might be the way to go. So... There's a lot of Tesla coil. Which means, of course, a lot of chance of failures, from what I understand. I didn't initially have fuses, but I read, like, a Reddit post that was like, eh, here's all the room atomic weapons, here's how they work, and, uh, you know, you probably want all of your weapon shit connected to, like, its own whole separate power supply. Like, not hooked into your main grid at all. Um, we are, of course, all hooked into one grid, but that's why I have the Fuses mod, which uh, gives us some protection, so we're okay there. Uh, Genomorpher is almost done. So with this... Uh, okay, good. So this pooped out now a growth cell. Here. So this is going to spoil in seven days. We got uh, Boom K9. Good, good, good. Uh, now this needs to be loaded into a womb. I don't know if it's a small or a big one for this thing. I'm not sure. Now, Zora, can you manage any part of that? No. The problem with test cores is they fire once, like, every, what, eight seconds? And there's a very good chance they'll all target the same thing. So, I think it's going to be easy for them to get overwhelmed. We'll see.
honestly, I really want to research the uh, the battery overload thing, wherever the hell that was. The, yeah, battery overload. So that we can send in walking bombs. That's a lot of research, though. We're a ways off from that. But really, I mean, a tier 1 Android, 8 components, 75 steel, 20 plasteel. Once you have crafter bots and are able to make plasteel and have, like, the drills that just produce infinite steel, that's really cheap and easy uh, for a big walking bomb that you can just send into places. Okay, he's hauling the growth cell over here. Uh, ooh, an industrial supply company. Very nice. So this needs to be loaded in, and I don't know how it's done. I don't want that. And I don't have an option for loading it in, but I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, yeah, we actually can't freeze it. Ah, shit. It needs to be refrigerated. But just ignoring that for right now, let's see. Growth cell. Critical. Um. Oh, and the hauler bot needs to be repaired. It's a valiant sacrifice. Well, it's two components just for that shit. All right, he's moving it. Uh, maybe there's just too much shit here. I, I don't know. This is all like, mm. uh, okay. So clearly, we have to set this so that it's. Just burnable. Only burnable stuff. I could put in some storage um, hampers and weapon lockers. <sighs> um, get like steel crates. Steel crates are probably good. That costs steel, man. All this shit. No storage space. What do you call this? Is that not burnable? Oh, this is too high. Hold on. Too low, I mean. Oh, god damn it, Jarvis. Now nah, you done it. And you're too fucking slow. Only a battery overload. Yeah. 
how that was bound to happen, wasn't it? I call this industrial supply company. People can't buy like a crafter bot or something. Or a drill. Pulse drill mark two. That's what we want. Very expensive. Very fucking expensive. I don't think I'll even get close. If I sell all the mechanoid components, if I sell my jade, uh, this, not even close. Fuck. Damn it. We don't really have a way of making money right now. That's kind of our problem. Despite me having so much wealth. Shit. Well, let me just... If I sell... Do I want to sell that many mechanoid components? Probably not. Sell jade, sell this. Um... I could buy a UAV. I don't know how you... I don't remember how you use this. This needs to be installed in a drone station. I can never understand what that is. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I bought it. <sighs> okay. They really don't want to be put there. Maybe I should just make it a hundred. I mean, you're telling me this is not burnable? This is uber burnable. This thing couldn't get any more burnable. You got too much shit. Bring in the trade caravans. There you go. I need somebody to sell some shit to. Tesla coils are online. That's good. I mean, if you're gonna fucking have all these clothes here. There you go. At least get them off the other shit. Don't do- No, don't. Now you've done it. Bring in another trade caravan to support. Bring in a raid. The Shadow Cannibals. A Mechanite Eclipse. Simultaneously. Oh, these guys got fucking guns. What about this? What? This is what you bring me? Oh shit, that's Sean. You're not supposed to be out there, man. You're not supposed to be out there, man. You're, you're the chosen one.
fuck. I shot the cute rat girls. Get inside. No, Sean. Fuck. He's got no assistance. They're all snoozing while this is going on. Azura, you've got 18 melee. I don't know how she got 18 melee. I don't think she was born with it. I assume it's a bug. We've seen that in the past. Safely handle. But she has to rescue her brother. Oh, actually, they just walked over him. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, the fire problem, I see. Cleaning bot, no. Okay. Well, no, let's uh, speed it up. Why aren't you firing? Hmm, that's not good. All right, Azura, show them what you got. Damn it! Fuck! Oh, this really sucks. We were so close to having our first genetic animal, and that's all I want. That's all I want. Fucking bugs. Bugs have ruined so many playthroughs. Okay, we have Jarvis again. I don't know what made him go over by the bugs in the first place, but... Let's just set you to ignore for now. Ah. Duck egg. That answers that question real quick. Okay, so right, we were going to set this... Just all, all these things. Yumi's good with medical. She can't shoot, though, and right now I need people that can shoot. There you go. See, see, see. Good, good, good. All right, now, Victor, what is it with this growth cell that you're not going to do? There's no button here to, like, load the womb. And there's no button... All right, I guess I have to look this up. You'd think it would be a bit more obvious. Um... Um... 
one thing that I thought was odd was that you actually cannot rotate these wombs. It has to be in this direction. And I looked it up, I thought this was a bug or something, but they said this was intended. Without saying why it was intended, they just said it's intended. I, I have no idea. I mean, that's very strange. Nothing in real life works like that that has to be oriented in a specific direction i mean unless it like is dependent on the sun or something i guess but that's not the case so i assume it has to do with like the arts or something with the i don't know i i really have no idea um it's called an electro yeah electro womb Okay. Let's see if I can. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's odd. Did I spell it that wrong? I don't think so. Electro womb. Okay, fine. What if I search growth cell? Okay, and that gives me all sorts of uh, scientific papers, academic papers about growth cells. Fuck! I mean, really, like, Victor should do genetics, if possible, before research. So there's something that's just not right. Do I have to have it refrigerated in order to put it in? I wouldn't think so. Is there something wrong with my electro womb? No, it just says inserted. There's no other things. Uh, there's the nutrient vat. But it doesn't link to the uh, wombs, it links to these things to increase their work speed. I didn't think this was necessary. Okay, hold on. There's, uh, there's a bunch of videos up recently from RimWorld YouTubers, like, showing tutorials for how to do the mod. So let me just click through here. Uh, okay. Well, that doesn't answer my... That's not much of a tutorial, then. Which makes me think that this is something wrong. It's like, it should be very obvious how to, in, how to insert it. Hold on, let me click. No, 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 okay. Um... Yeah, oh, I did that. Wait a minute. There's the grow cell. He literally right clicks on the thing. And it allows him to insert it. Which means that something that I have is broken. Fuck. Then who even knows? Like, it could be anything. It could be any sort of mod... Incompatibility. Fuck, that sucks. That was basically the whole point of this playthrough. Um. So then it's either like... <clears throat> going through all like the bug report discussions to see if anyone else has mentioned it. And then, if not, like, posting my own thing to see if... Uh, 
I do know that Combat Extended can cause some weird incompatibilities with things that you really would not ever expect. Like androids. If they are a slave, Combat Extended is the reason why the little slave tab does not show up for them. Which means that you can never like imprison them or release them or do anything like that. Um, and it also causes you can't put android slaves on battery. That's all combat extended, apparently. I found that out. So... I mean, it could just be combat extended. And we, I know that the... creator of the mod has no interest in combat extended. So, I mean, it could be, but that seems like something that I would see mentioned. Hmm. Can't interact in any way with the gross cell. The possible culprit, according to the mod developer. Uh, vanilla framework expanded core, unlikely it's our uh, MVCF something. Jax tools, injured carry, alpha memes, altered carbon, stabilize. I have Jax tools. I have alpha memes. I have the VFE core. I don't, I probably have MVCF. But those are all three that he said are unlikely because it's their, like, it's their mods. So that's not really... Uh... For some reason, certain growth cells can't be loaded into the ox rooms, but certain ones can. He just says report it properly. That is just an anecdote. Okay. That does not solve my problem. Ha, ah, damn. I mean, at the end of the day... Part of the reason why I wanted to do this playthrough was just to figure out how this all works, which I have now. I mean, I get it, even if I haven't done it. Uh, we made all this stuff. It's really not nearly as complicated as I thought. I thought you had to get genetic, like, genomes from living creatures. I didn't know that they can just be dead, which makes it a fuck ton easier, because then basically anything you kill can be repurposed into genetic creations. Okay, so then... I guess you could make another one and see if that works. Mole Man! Hulking monstrosity that is genuinely caring for those around them, taking great joy and actual personal pleasure through working diligently and caring for those it considers friends and family. Evidently, it was bred specifically for by mega corporations to work in dangerous mines, because human greed never changes. Very low hunger rate, very intelligent. They enjoy digging with their hands. They will sometimes work mining orders given the chance, but they're very slow due to their bulk. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Or a man squirrel. A man squirrel. We'll shovel snow. Why? I don't know. And then the immuno booster uh, lowers the failure chance. 
but we want the tempo booster because we want it fast. <sighs> All right. But then, yeah, I mean, if it is specific types of growth cells, like figuring out which ones will work and which not, yeah, it'll take forever, and then... <sighs> Obviously, that's, like, not how it should function, so it's just kind of bugged. And it is a very new mod, per se. Uh, it's, like, an, a, an expanded version of a mod that's been around for a long time called Genetic Rim... But, you know, it's been rejiggered, so new problems, of course. Well, damn. I think, I, I don't know, I, I think, mm. I think bum rushing nuclear was a mistake. If I can be frank, <laughs> um, nuclear requires just a lot of resources and a lot of time and a lot of everything, and a lot of effort. Like it's, it's, you know, like in card games, like Hearthstone and you know, things like that, they have like win more cards where you can only really play them when you're already ahead and winning and then they just help you win even more that's kind of what rim atomics is like there's so many other avenues for like energy and things like that and for like automated weapon systems that i think are easier or and or cheaper rim atomics really cool but it's not something I think you should bum rush at the start. I mean, obviously we're here now. Uh, I think we are mainly hampered by our no automated turrets, which was due. Be I mean, the automated turrets thing was because you're supposed to just be making these genetic creations, and those are supposed to be your big defenses, which is fine. Except I didn't bum rush genetic research. I bum-rushed nukes because I wanted to have my power situation sorted. But what that leaves us right now is that we have no turrets, no defenses, and we have far too much wealth. I mean, right now our wealth is at uh, 188,000. And our defenses consist of, like, two people that can fire guns and four Tesla coils. That's it. So I think we're just kind of boned. Now would be the time where it'd probably be probably be best actually to just leave this tile and go somewhere else to resettle. Um now that I have like a bunch of characters and a bunch of research, I could set things up to be a bit more gradual with wealth progression. Either that or make a bunch of turrets and then just get myself situated that way. <sighs> um, but that would be somewhat going against the spirit of the things or with no automated turrets. But there isn't really many options otherwise. As it is, I think I'm actually going to end the playthrough. I know we, we just flipped through a lot of ones rather than some people just play the same colony for like 50 videos um but especially with the genetic mod broken that really puts kind of the final nail in the coffin um and nuclear stuff i mean that would be really cool to get like the fucking rail gun and shit like that but i just don't have money all my wealth is tied up in i don't know what my wealth is tied up in buildings and like clothes <laughs> i think like all these clothes just add a stupid amount of wealth that i'm not selling and are just useless like that's not good um what i've maybe should have done is change it so that 
Um... Uh, wealth independent progress mode. Um, which changes the threat scaling. So it's not based on your wealth. It's just based on time. Um, and like they say, like it's, it's not good because if you do get wiped out, then you're fucked. Like you don't get a reset. Um, but either way, either way, so yeah, nuclear is cool. I like it a lot and I want to, uh, down the road, you know, who knows when exactly, but down the road, I'd like to get to the point where we have. Uh, the Punisher and the fucking obelisk directed energy weapons and but this is really high end stuff. I mean, just the fact you have to spend ten thousand silver to start researching the thing, let alone building it and all that sort of stuff. I mean, that is very high end, and almost never do my playthroughs get to be that high end, where I have ten thousand bucks just laying around. So, yeah, I mean, like many mods that are just, like, super high-end, I don't tend to play around with them that much. Um, genetics, though, that I think you could get going pretty early. I think if, had we not made this, like, nuclear and genetic engineering, and we just did, like, all right, this playthrough, we're doing genetic stuff, um... I think we could have gotten to this much quicker. And we just... Yeah. Every corpse of any creature we start playing around with. Uh, especially if you're on, like, a really abundant biome with a lot of animals. And, I mean, you know there are biomes like that. Uh, then, yeah, you never run out of, like, frames and various uh, genomes. And you're just constantly spitting out a genetic altered army but the fact that it's kind of borked for me right now for whatever reason yeah it's a bummer so yeah i think we're gonna leave it off and um the next playthrough i want to do the complete opposite actually I want to do the complete opposite of high-end mad science. And I'm going to put on Medieval Overhaul. And Rim Medieval. And we're going to do just the full, full Medieval playthrough. I mean, Naked Tribal Brutality, of course. But um, that will that is going to restrict the entire planet to only medieval level technology. And I don't have a goal, I guess, or I haven't thought of a goal. I'll try to think of a goal for that playthrough that we can obtain. Um, cause it, I mean, you'll never get electricity. Like it, it's just everything before electricity is available. Uh, so there's no winning in the conventional sense of, like, leaving the planet or, or anything like that. So I'll have to think of some more sort of respectable goal that we could achieve. But yeah, I mean, I haven't played with Medieval Overhaul in quite a while. Uh, now it is definitely compatible with Combat Extended. And uh, it should be a pretty interesting experience. I might also grab a few other mods like the Morwin mods or like the the elves mod you know things like that make it like more of just like a fantasy kind of experience i'm gonna look into that um the only thing i just wanted to see if this is actually gonna this growth cell is actually gonna work because these bugs just get out of control.
This one works, this one doesn't. Uh, I don't know. Do the large one? The mole man seems large. Alright, there you go. So that's how long it will take. It's not fast. Oh, shit. God. Get all my guys inside. Summon another trade caravan. Bulk goods trader. Summon a raid. A fucking mech hive. Oh, that drop right on top of me. Oh, God. They're coming through! Oh my god! Oh no! Hauling bot too! Back up. Oh, God. Cleaning bot, no. Well, that didn't go well. Mechai was not a good choice. Not that I think we would have done it regardless. I mean, maybe the Inquisitor will wipe them all out. <laughs> Fucking this knight shoot, shooting them in the back of the head. Still growing. Is there a dev command that I can just finish this right away or something? Probably not. Uh, vanilla genetics. Uh, surprisingly, no. I can spawn a mole man. Alright, here we go. This is as if my mole man were born. Oh, this is a wild creature, though. We need to make him part of ours. Uh, let's see. Pain. Yeah, mole woman. Genetic disease in 3.7 years. You've got to go defend the home, mole woman. Let's see how she does. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking annihilated. Yeah. Nocolus joined, though. Oh, what the fuck did they trigger?
Oh my god, what was that? I don't know. Okay, hold on, hold on. Since we're since we're fucking dev commanding stuff. Um Let me just see. Android tier one colonists. Okay, so he's that. Then I want to research. Uh, I have to go into here for research. I'll just do finish all research. Uh, overload. Because so I need to see how big this is. Alright, so it's ticking up. 61%. 70%. Taking you bastards with me. Wow, that was really not that big at all. Oh, that's not even worth it. Okay. I don't suppose I can dev command in a nuke. That would be pretty sweet. Um... Because I assume it's like a whole system that has to be, like, put in of the, um, I don't even know, what is it called? The Liberator. So, I mean, you could probably, like, spawn, I don't even know how you would do it. Liber, Liberator? <laughs> Man, there's a lot of shit in this game. Liberator minified. And there's a couple things here that are just like blank. So that's no good. Um, no, I mean, I probably can't do it, but it would be cool. Yeah. Um, weapon. It's just a weapon. No, it's not a weapon. No, okay. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It'd be cool, but I don't. I don't have enough knowledge of dev commands to know how to do this. Just the minified version. I mean, I guess I could, like, spawn in another... choice anything on the map that isn't inside a mountain bunker okay so you need missiles how do you know what missiles you need Makes missiles. I mean, I, I, I mean, we're just fucking around, I guess. But uh, fuselage is this a thing that you can make, or or do you have to just? I don't know how it works. Missile fuselage. Okay, but then there was also... Oh my 
god. There's just so many things. There's so many things. Missile incoming. Strategic missile strike. Nuclear warhead. I think that's what you need. Hmm, but I don't know how you... Oh, here. Load it. Okay, you need a bunch of those. We're gonna do this! It's gonna be great! It's gonna be great. Trust me. There you go, I got a bunch of those. And then, uh, whoops. Warheads. There might be more parts in that. Oh no, fuck off, bugs! Fuck. I didn't get a chance to do it. Fuck off, bugs. Just ignore them. Keep reload. <laughs> Keep loading it. Oscar, no! We need rocket engines now. Man, it's like this whole thing. But just imagine how glorious it's going to be. Fuck! Okay. Both. Well, <laughs> wasting. Wasting your time. Alright, fine. Let's bring in a tier 5 colonist. He works quick. We'll never do hauling or repairing. What? What? What problems did you get? Arcotech designer. What a shit character. I guess faceless. That's kind of cool. Fine. Bring in another one that will actually do what I tell him to do. We're almost done. Nuclear warhead. Chem fuel. <laughs> 250 chem fuel. Man. I guess, I mean, yeah, it's a nuke. What do you expect? It's not going to be simple. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm going to click this mouse 250 times just so we can nuke these bugs. Just so we can fucking nuke the bugs. Ugh. I'm no good at clicking. Load it up. Don't worry about the fire. Strategic missile ready. Okay, good. Man the sacks. Fuck the scram. No. No. Do I have enough power to launch? Launch it. I don't think it's going to go. I don't think we have enough power. Fuck. Alright. Then just, um... Uh, I don't know. Solar? Solar? No, just make some vanometrics. Vanometric power cell? Is that right? Oh, but it's minified. Is this even what I want? I don't know if this is what I want. 
Maybe that is what I want. Okay. Banometric generator. Uh, there you go. Oh, but we're in the middle of a solar flare. How do I cancel that? That's really the problem. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm sure there's a way. There's so many options. Change weather. Clear. I won't end the solar flare. It's like an event or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Mm, yeah. No, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to end it. I'm sure there's a way, but I don't know how to end it. So I guess I just sit here and wait. Solar flares don't last that long. It's horrifying. It's horrifying, man. not even it's not even on the grid disconnected well then we just go in here and uh... play some power conduits did that work almost Really wasting your time. No, that, oh, that worked. Okay, good. Oh, but they just... Are you shitting me? Okay, then hold on. Maybe I can just spawn in the nuke. Let's, uh... Try spawn unminified thing missile missile launcher long range missile launcher okay maybe it was spawn missile could have sworn there was something missile incoming <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I mean, that fucking did it. That annihilated every single thing on the map, really. Anything that wasn't like stone or metal in the wall anything living anything dead and anything man-made got fucking annihilated holy shit Whew. I mean when would you ever need that kind of destruction <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, I mean every everything. Not not a single thing of my base still exists. If you remove all the blueprints like 
everything. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 5% average mood in the colony. Oh, no. That's a problem. Oh, the junk survived. This stuff survived. The ancient giant wheel. It must be pretty sturdy stuff. But yeah. Holy fuck, that's amazing. All this stuff, plasteel, metal, that, that all survived. I guess it, it can't be destroyed. It has no health. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and then it seems to have actually destroyed, like, a layer of the rock, like, all around here. This is all slag chunks from this wall. So there's just a nice, yeah, a nice row. It didn't actually land where I pointed it to here. It landed in the middle of the map. So that's why, you know, you can see, like, the blast line of sight here from, like, this wall here. <laughs> and yeah, it was map wide. It went as far in every direction as possible. That's just amazing. Well, that was worth it, in my opinion. There you go. That that image is the end of the Mad Science playthrough. Uh, you know, dev commands, but sometimes that's that's fun. Alrighty. That'll do us then. Next time will be the uh, the opposite of this. We will be very unga bunga and clubs over heads and all sorts of stuff like that. But alrighty. My name is Mang. This has been Rimworld. See you fine folks around. <laughs>